Hey everybody, I'm back working on another illustration for the book with my friend Shelley Morningsong. And uh, I like to draw my sketches out in a little sketchbook, kind of get my ideas down on paper, and then I'll transfer that to uh, a big piece of paper. So I just kind of wanted to make another little video, show you a little bit of the technique that's involved in putting one of these together. So come on and take a look. Okay, here we have the sketch, and after I ink up my sketch or my drawing, I go through and erase all my ghost lines. Kind of get those out of there. And too, I can see if I've missed any of the lines I want in there. And I did miss a couple, so I'm going to go back and uh, grab my pen. I love these Micron pens. They're awesome. Just going to add a couple more waves here. Nice blue sky. I'll make sure I get all of those little nuggets out of there because we don't want any. I don't want any little lines coming in. I don't like things to be too. Too much symmetry, so we're going to put a little bit more blue on the edge of the sky there. One thing I like to do, a little trick, just to kind of tip it up so it'll flow down just a bit. And that'll get my blues a little heavier up towards the sky. So I have my sky in, and I'm actually going to work a little bit on the, on the details of the girl. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask out her hair. That way I can go ahead and kind of paint over it and it won't uh, ruin the, the paper for where she is. So the masking fluid does just that. It uh, masks out the area. I don't like to use a lot of it because it does buff up your paper just a little bit. So I'm going to be really careful and just do a little bit on the edges. As you can see, and I'm using a tool called the Incredible Nib. And that's just so, if you use this on a brush, it'll actually ruin your brush. So I'm just gonna do the outline. That way I can go ahead and I can, once that dries, I can paint over that with my watercolor and it does get a couple bubbles in it so you have to just kind of go back and make sure that your bubbles are out. Okay, I've started to um, rough in my water, and I'm going to go ahead and work on the, the waves just a bit. Okay, so I've got my water in, and I'm actually going to go ahead and take that liquid mask off where I had her hair masked out in the water. Kind of get it started with this little tool. it can pretty much peel off on its own. And see, that gives you the nice clean paper underneath. Ta-da! Okay, so I've got uh, my mask off, my sky in, my water, and I'm gonna just start kind of ghosting in these trees. And by ghosting in, I just mean I'm gonna kind of get where I want them positioned. This will just be like, you know, lightly. And I, got, I still have a little bit of mask on the back of that whale so that I can um, 
make sure I don't get anything in there with it. And I'm going to add just a touch of yellow in there for the greens to the background. And the cool thing about these trees is you can just kind of bring little bits of them to life. So we're going to go ahead and ghost these in and then I'm going to let it dry and keep adding to that. Okay, so I've got a lot of my stuff uh, finished um, and I'm just going to add a few details. Like I want to put a little bit of, I'm using some gouache to just add a few details of white for the water. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, start working on the hair a little bit. I've got just about everything else done. So I'm going to go ahead and get some water in there first. So that it'll, when I put my color in, it'll have a place to go because the watercolor paint likes to follow the water. So we're going to just get it a little wet first. And then my fancy paper plate. And go ahead and there we go. And the thing with the watercolor is it's just building up layers. So watercolor, I always say watercolor requires patience and clean water. And that's about it. So here we have the finished painting. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in and keep checking back for more updates about the upcoming book.